Alright, so what is Touch Designer actually and how can we use it? So um, if you look up online what Touch Designer is, you're going to find the description that it's a note-based programming language or a visual programming language or environment. And I'm going to quickly explain what that means. So what you have here when you just open the, the software, um, you can see that it, there's uh, these um, rectangles connected to each other and they kind of have these, this imagery in them. And we call them, like generally these are called nodes. So um, yeah, these different things are called nodes. In Touch Designer, we refer to them as operators. So what a node or an operator, which I'm going to call them now, uh, it really is, is kind of a start point, a connection point, or an end point. And um, start points can be something like this, where it takes data from from your PC, so like an image that, that's uh, on your um, drive. Um, you can actually create data like in here, so we're just kind of creating random numbers here. Um, and here we, we're taking two inputs um, and then it processes that data and it passes that on to the next. And then we have something like this out here, which is uh, a, an endpoint that can that is able to output the, the data to somewhere else. So here we have a very small uh, network going on that is uh, just taking an image in and displacing that. Uh, so just kind of changing it. Um, so what nodes really, or what, what we're really doing in Touch Designer is that we're creating this network with all these different operators. There's different operator types, as you can see here as well. So we can see three different ones, like uh, the tops, the chops, and a comp. We're going to get to that later. Um, and uh, each of these has kind of like their own set of skills or the yeah, set of abilities. Uh, and um, we can connect them to create a whole. So we use all kinds of different operators, connect them and make a small or a big network. Um, and then we, uh, we create some kind of output. So um, what this means is um, like uh, what we're able to, able to do with this is that we can output a lot of different things and we can input a lot of different things. So for example, um, we can input any kind of MIDI device, we can input audio devices, we can use uh, scripts like Python or GLSL to create or change data, we can uh, input files like FBS, uh, FBX, OBJ, um, USD, and things like that. We can also use data like or yeah, data like uh, CSV files. We can um, connect uh, Touch Designer to other software like Ableton and Max for Live, uh, V4, Notch, Unity, all those. And we can also output data to those again. And we can also connect Touch Designer to the web. But that's still kind of a work in progress right now. Um, yeah, so we can really use all kinds of data, uh, work with that here and output that again. Um, so Touch Designer is really like versatile when it comes to how you actually apply it or where you actually use it. So you can use it in any kind of multimedia installations because you can, or like interactive multimedia installations because you can like, I don't know, use a Kinect to um, get some uh, body information, like movement uh, information of your visitors uh, and then uh, make that change uh, the visual that you are creating in here or that you are creating in a different software, for example. Um, you can uh, and then you can output it to a Beamer, for example. Uh, whoops. Um, we also have a. Uh, we also have the ability to create interfaces, so you can actually make really complex um, programs or kind of like an actual software in Touch Designer that people then can use uh, with a user interface. We can use uh, Touch Designer for any kind of. Um, live performances so or live projections so we can use it for like um VJing or we can use it for um any kind of audiovisual um performance so we can make a visual react to music very quite uh, easily in touch designer we can um also make for example a visual react to a dancer we could um use touch designer for projection mapping um so we can map visuals on a house for example um, 
or uh, create the visual and then uh, send that data to another software and then map it on the house. Um, we could uh, we can render any kind of uh, output. So we can render uh, 3D animations. Uh, we can uh, also render 2D animations uh, in real time or in, not in real time. All right, so that's kind of uh, a very rough overview of what Touch Designer is. It's it's kind of an endless program, really, and it's really uh, easy to extend um, with all kinds of different um, yeah, operators, as you can see here. Um, if we just look in here, these are all the operators that you can use. As you can see, those are quite a few, and you also have the option to actually add custom ones. So Touch Designer really is... Uh, endless it feels like <laughs> um i'm gonna end this by just uh showing you like you can you can have a look at the showcase here on the touch designer website um and i'm also gonna link a few other artists that are very inspiring it's inspiring to me so just to like kind of get you hyped uh um because it's kind of a dry part that's coming first because we need to look at all the how this is structured and how how the inter interface is kind of like uh, working, so um, to to keep you hyped because <laughs> Touch Designer really is an amazing software. All right, so um, I'll see you in the next video.